Let's render the same image in six different AI platforms. Hello and welcome back to the channel. AI has become a great tool for ideation. It allows architects to rapidly visualize and ideate different conceptual designs. In this video, we'll be looking at six AI platforms and see how accurately they can create architectural renderings. We will use a base SketchUp model for this and try to render it in all these different platforms. We'll also walk you through the process of all these platforms so you can follow as well. The links to these platforms are in the description in case you want to follow along. I'm Salman, an architect and an illustrator. If you're new to the channel, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon for notifications. So let's get started. Firstly, we'll need a base image to create the rendering on and for that, let's use this SketchUp model which is a modern office exterior facade. Let's choose a preferred viewpoint and export the view as a 2D image. With that, we are ready to test this in different rendering platforms. Number one is Fabry AI. This is an underrated platform that not many people have heard of. It's an AI powered canvas where you can create images, write articles, sketch and so on. This is the Fabry homepage, which is fabry.com and we will have to log into the website by creating an account or by logging in using the Google account. It will then take us to the dashboard and like I mentioned earlier, Fabry is a canvas to create designs and each icon you see here is a different set of canvas. Let's open a canvas and it's an empty page where we can create different things. There are multiple features here, but for now, let's look at the rendering part. The first option here is the Fabry Imagine and that comes with 300 images per day, which is quite a lot. There are multiple kind of renderings that can be done here from architecture, product design, interiors and so on. Let's choose render and it opens a new window. There is sketch, render and 3D model category. Let's choose 3D model and upload the image in the grid. Let's make sure the category is architectural design. We can write a prompt here and that can be modern office building with glass facade and grey building materials, empty road in the front, surrounded by trees and buildings in the background. We have the option to choose a rendering style and here there are quite a lot of interesting list of styles to choose from. There is mid journey style, there's futuristic and there are many more unique styles. Let's go with modern architecture for this and there's an option to choose standard quality or high quality. Let's just go with standard quality which will give us 4 outputs. Let's hit generate to get the results. It takes about 30 seconds in real time to generate the results and the output is pretty good. They look very stylized if you prefer that kind of a rendering. It has that kind of a vignetting effect as the edges are darker and that shifts the focus towards the building. Great job with the reflection on the floor and the buildings as well. You can download it by right clicking and choosing download and the quality of the saved file is pretty good. I would rate it 8 out of 10. Number 2 is rerender.ai. This is a fairly simple AI platform where you can upload your images and choose a specific style from the predefined set. This is the rerender AI which has a pretty simple website interface. We have the free plan which is just 3 images per day and we also have the pro plan. Let's choose new render and the interface here again is quite simple as well. Let's upload the image here and it shows up on this grid. Let's choose the type as 3D model. And below that, we have a set of predefined design styles to choose from to render our image. In this drop down menu, we have a list of all the typologies of buildings to select and there's quite a lot of options to choose from. Let's choose office building and select sleek international style. Below that, we have light settings and let's keep that as natural. The rest of the options are only available on the pro version. For the color theme, let's choose grey and the building material can be in metal. Let's choose this slider to preserve details and hit render. The time taken to render this is about 40 seconds in real time. And the output generated here was not quite satisfactory. It's a bit disappointing to see the render output here. The first thing we notice is that the AI is not generating an environment around it and everything around the building is just flat, plain and empty. There are no trees, roads, background or anything in the environment. And as for the building, I would say that it's pretty average. The AI has did a good job in retaining the outlines of the basic image that we provided. But if you look at it in terms of details, materiality and reflections, you could definitely say that it's not up to the mark. It has added some reflectivity on the glass surface by creating imaginary objects and scene in front of it, but it doesn't show up on the actual render. And the amount of watermark that this AI has added over the image is pretty insane. We understand that this is a free render, but the number of watermarks over it is way too much. Overall, I would rate it as maybe 5 out of 10. Number 3 is MNML or Minimal. 
This is a similar platform to what we saw earlier, but the image quality of the renders seems pretty well and also there are other features apart from rendering. This is the homepage of mnml.ai. This website interface and UI looks pretty simple as well. And apart from 3D rendering, this website also offers different other features. So let's jump into it and start rendering. We'll have to sign up into this website using our Google account. Once we sign up, this takes us to the subscription page. So we have subscriptions starting from $19. But for now, let's try it for free. We'll have to start with sketch to image and that takes us to the rendering page. Let's look at the credits and it does seem that we'll only be able to generate three images with the free version. We have three modes which is precise, balance and creative. Let's choose balance and upload the image. As for the prompt, let's type in the same kind of prompt we used earlier. We have different styles to choose as well. Let's go ahead with CGI. The rest of the settings can be as it is and let's choose generate. The rendering time is about 20 to 25 seconds. The generated result was actually quite surprising. On the very first look, the rendering actually looks very lively and it looks like an urban scene than just a rendering of a building. Though it's a grey building, it has those nice and vibrant colours which breaks the monotony. On a closer look, it has done a very good job in building the environment around the building with roads, people, cars and trees. The reflectivity and the material details on the building are top notch as well. And we'll also be able to download this in high quality for free. Overall, this is an excellent output. I would rate it 8 out of 10. Number 4 is LookX. LookX describes itself as the world's first AI platform that is designed by architects by architects. We've also made a detailed video on this platform in this channel, so make sure to check that out as well. LookX has been recently quite popular on Instagram and Twitter, and we've also made a separate video on using this platform, so you can check that out as well. So let's get started with this. We'll have to either create an account or use our Google account to log into this website. And once we log in, we land in the Creations Plaza where we can see the AI generated images created by others. To start rendering, we'll have to go into the start creation. So we'll have to start with the render mode and the design field as architecture. We have different input modes and we'll have to choose one depending on the type of input image that we are providing for the rendering. So let's choose 3D massing and choose detail model. We can then upload our image here under the basic image tab. And as for the number of free images, we'll be starting with 200 coins and for each image generation, we'll be losing one coin. Now let's type in a similar kind of prompt that we used earlier. And one great feature about this platform is that we can actually use AI to elaborate the prompt that we just typed. Let's choose apply. And we also have the option to choose a reference image. I found this on Pinterest. So let's use this one. We'll have to upload that into the style reference image. And let's choose start creation. The time taken to render this is close to one minute. And we have the final rendering. On first look, the image quality looks similar to the previous AI platform that we just saw. All the four options have smaller variations in terms of the materials and its combinations, but all of them have followed the basic reference image that we have provided. I like the lighting effect in the ground floor of the building that the AI has generated. It creates a certain dynamic character to the rendering, and it's a fairly good job with the environment around it, with the people, cars, and trees. The reflections in the building and the details of the materials have come out quite good as well. Overall, I would probably rate it 7 out of 10. Number 5 is Prome AI. This has become quite popular with a lot of architects, designers and artists because of its flexibility and the function that it offers. We have made multiple videos of this platform in this channel so you can check that out if you are interested. So if you've been following this channel, you must be pretty familiar with the Prome AI because we have made a couple of videos on this platform. You can check that out if you want to try this platform in detail. So let's start with the sketch rendering, which is the first option in the image generation. Let's upload the image from this plus icon and it shows up on the main screen. Under this tab below, let's choose architecture and pick commercial building. We again have multiple different styles here. Let's go ahead with mid-century modern. We have different rendering modes and each mode offers a different style of output. Let's go ahead with precise concept which retains the basic idea but adds some creativity. Let's type in the similar prompt that we used earlier. The time taken here is again about 30 seconds. And here are the renderings. We have multiple options generated here. The first one has replaced the materials as a bit of beige than grey colours but it still actually looks good as a rendering. The foreground of this image is pretty plain and there's nothing in it except for the road 
and it has added a few trees as the background. The other images, however, has added a patch of green grass and a kind of a garden space in the front which looks pretty interesting as a design element. If we zoom in to see the materials of the building, this looks by far more detailed than all the platforms that we saw earlier. It has created individual components and depth for each element like the window frame and glasses. If you look at it as an overall environment, it does lack a bit of people and life in the scene. But if you fix that in Photoshop, this might turn out as an excellent rendering. Overall, I would rate it 8 out of 10. Number 6 is Mid Journey. Mid Journey has come a long way till version 6 as of now, but can it actually be used to produce renderings of a 3D model? To find out, I got in touch with my dear friend, architect Samir, who's an AI enthusiast and is also producing some amazing conceptual designs with Mid Journey. I especially like the way he uses Mid Journey to explore a conceptual design and produce it as a tangible drawing rather than thinking of AI as a simple image producing tool. So let's jump in and talk to him. Hi Samir, how are you? I'm good Salman, how are you? I'm great. So we wanted to ask you if we can actually use Mid Journey to create designs that are accurate in our renders. So meaning that if we use a SketchUp model and will it be possible to create accurate renders using Mid Journey? Uh, no, we cannot create accurate uh, images from Mid Journey. What we can do is we need to consider Mid Journey more like a personal Pinterest account. That's how we need to see it. For example, in my case, I work on a model on SketchUp and then I take it to Mid Journey and I prompt what I want to see from it. Say, for example, if I need a living room that would have been modeled by me, I would take that into Mid Journey. With the basic coloring that I have given on SketchUp, it would read it as the kind of prompt that it gives. Right, makes sense. So in this video, we are uh, experimenting with one SketchUp model in different uh, rendering websites. Could, would you be possible to run you through a process and uh, show how do you actually render it using Mid Journey? This, this is the image that was shared by you. So what I have to do is, Mid Journey cannot read the gist of these, uh, this image, basically. It would understand the architecture from it. What I might have to give is the kind of materials that I want to give to this uh, image and see what it can come up with. So that's the idea. So I start with very three of an office building designed based on tropical modernism, how I want to see natural daylight or there, and then the kind of materials that we want to see. Uh, this happens because we have given an image prompt. Background has white and so and so. Right. So we refine this. So as we refine this, say for example, once this is done, I might take one of these images and go to the next iteration or uh, we would call it layering. So it will become slowly realistic. Say for example, this doesn't have image of a tree or something and uh, I, I will start bringing images of the kind of plants that I want to see, a better detailing of the interiors, and then we get to see the sunlight, and then slowly we build upon that. Iterate and uh, reiterate, and then it goes into the next stages. As we are architect, we know, okay, this is where we need to stop, and then we stop there. Right, so that's actually very insightful, and I hope this will be useful for all the viewers who are watching this. So thank you for joining in, Samir. I hope the audience found this to be helpful. I'll leave a link to his Instagram profile in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out and you'll be mind blown. Now let's put all the results together and comment down below which of these you like the most. So those were the 6 different AI platforms. We also need to consider that AI is still evolving, so we cannot compare them very accurately, but it's still good to see which works better for our results. I hope you found this video to be helpful and if you did, please hit that like button and share this with your friends. You can follow me on Instagram and the handle is right here. I'll see you on the next one.